starring Tommy Rettig as Jeff Miller. Jan Clayton as his mother, Ellen. George Cleveland as Gramps. And, of course, Lassie. What are you some old people about? Where's Jeff? <coughs> My, you got back quickly. I'll give that dog some raw eggs. She needs perking up. Why? Lassie, she needs perking up. I didn't have to go to town. I stopped over at Ed Higgins' place there, telling him he'd have that alfalfa, and he gave me these washers. You mean I'm finally going to get that outside faucet fixed? <laughs> well, I guess that's what it looks like. Where's Jeff? Oh, don't bother him. He's busy. Uh, well, I'll need him to hold one of the pipe wrenches. What's he doing? You won't believe this, but he and Porky are cleaning out the back of the barn. No. Yes. Well, for goodness sake. <laughs> That's why Lassie's down in the dumps. They won't let her out there because she gets in the way. Yeah. How much? How much? For, oh, 25 cents. Cheap. Hey, you'd better get back to work. We might fix the spray. So we go handsies on anything we found. If I helped you. You haven't helped very much. Didn't find anything yet. Everything's busted. You said there was a lot of valuable stuff in here. I said maybe. But anyway. Jeff! Jeff, for, for heaven's sake, stop raising all this dust. Well, I've got to sweep. Well, you don't have to swing the broom like a golf club. Look, here's all you have to do. If you do it, it won't get done reading all these old magazines. And before you sweep, you should clear out all of this junk. Now, remember, you're not going to get paid until this barn is spotless. Why didn't you tell me? Tell you what? Why didn't you tell me you were getting paid? Gosh, all I'm getting is 25 cents. But I'm giving you halfsies on anything we find. Big deal. Nothing but junk. You want to quit? Go ahead. Why should I work for nothing? Hey. What is it? Stamp out me. Boy. I'm halfsies. Oh, no. You quit. I did not. Put them in. But I didn't quit, Jeff. Honest, I didn't. You said you didn't want to work for nothing. Put them in. Please, Jeff. You gonna clean up the barn? All by myself? You haven't done anything yet. Okay. Are we still have these? Put them in. Shake on it. Hey, where's this one from? I bet it's worth a lot of money. Cape of Good Hope. Where's that? Africa, I think. <laughs> hey, she's stepping on him. Lassie, go away. Hey, she's got one stuck to her paw. Lassie, please go away and don't bother us. Outside and play. Go on now. Well, bless your heart. I know. First it was the barn and now it's the stamps. Well, we'll put a temporary end to that, huh? Jeff! Porky! Lunch. Wash up. Okay. Hey, what's this one? George Washington. It's only a three cent stamp, though. Come on, we gotta eat. We'll put them in the album and sort them out later. Did your Gramps call Ed Higgins about the stamp catalog? There's no use sorting them out unless we have a catalog to see how much they're worth. Well, he's bringing it over when he comes for the alfalfa. I thought I told you. 
told you to go out and play. Go on now. Jeff, don't you think you're being a little unkind to Lassie? All morning long, you kept her out of the barn. Now you're ordering her out of the house. She gets in the way sometimes. So do you. Well, sure, and you tell me to go out to play. That's all I told her. Yeah, she kept stepping all over the stamps and getting them stuck to her feet. Lunch ready? Uh-huh. Smells good. Oh, I uh, forgot to tell you. Ed said if you found a three-cent pink George Washington in that old album, it's worth a hundred dollars. Jeff, for heaven's sake! Oh, but, Mom, we got one. We got a George Washington stamp. Please, both of you, sit down. Oh, well, we got a stamp that's worth one hundred dollars. Well, I'm sure it'll be worth just as much after lunch. Come on. it open. So what's that got to do with the stamp album? Well, it was closed when I came in here just now. Can't you think somebody stole it? I don't know, but let's search the room first. <laughs> Thanks a lot, George. All right, if you want any more, just holler. Could use a little rain, huh? We're gonna get some in a day or two. Well, say hello to Mary for me. Sure will. All right. Mom, if you took it, please tell me. Jeff, I already told you I haven't seen the stamp album. Now stop nagging. Well, somebody took it, and there's a hundred dollar stamp in it. You left it on the bed? Uh-huh, and it's not there. It's not any place in the room. Did you, Mom? Did I what? Take it to punish me. To punish you for what? Well, I don't know. Maybe because I sent Lassie outside. Oh, now don't be silly. Mind you, I don't think it was the right yeah. thing to do, but... Excuse me. Did you find it? No, but look. Mud. And it's still wet. Somebody must have climbed through the window while we were eating. A robber. Those are Lassie's paw prints. Oh. Hey, wait a minute. It could have been Lassie. She could have taken it. Jeff, what are you doing? Gotta feed Lassie. Come on, 
Well, I see it's all for you. She knows. Come on, Lassie. That's a good girl. Good girl. What's going on here? Why are you feeding her this time of day? We're bribing her. Huh? We think she took the stamp album and hid it someplace. Oh. Well, how do you figure to get it back? I'm going to have a talk with her as soon as she's finished eating. <laughs> well, good luck to you. to go out of the house. I won't do it anymore. That's my girl. Now, Lassie, fetch it. <laughs> fetch it, Lassie. Stay here. See, I told you. No, Lassie, not the ball. <laughs> That's right, not the ball. Now, go on, fetch it, Lassie. She's looking for something. Shh. No, Lassie. Got that poor dog running around in circles. I think it's just terrible. Uh, but a hundred dollars is a lot of money. Is that what you've been telling Jeff? Who, me? <laughs> no. You better not if you don't want him to spend the rest of his life chasing rainbows. Tell him supper's ready. Jeff, supper's ready. Porky, you better go on home. Okay. Call me if she finds it, huh? Good night, Mom. Good night. Good night, Gramps. Where's Lassie, Jeff? Outside. Jeff, come in. Sit down. Jeff, there has to be an end to this. You cannot keep punishing Lassie for something that you think she did. Who else could have done it? You didn't, and Gramps didn't. All right. All right, let, let's assume that, that she did take the stamp album. Is that such a terrible crime? But, but... Now, just a minute. If she did take it and hide it, don't you think she had a good reason? What reason? What reason could she have? I'll tell you. The same reason that makes it necessary for you to belong to someone, to be wanted and needed. Now, just suppose that, that Gramps and I had found that stamp album instead of you and Porky, and we were huddled over it when you came along, and we told you not to bother us, to go outside. You'd feel that, that you weren't wanted, wouldn't you? And you'd hate that stamp album. And you would probably do it exactly as Lassie did. Try to get rid of it. Well, but there's a hundred dollar stamp in it. You've been to that before. What of it? A hundred dollars is a lot of money. Jeff, since when has money become so important to you? Well, it, it's not just me, it, but it's Porky, too. We're halvesies. All right. All right, honey, she's, she's your dog. You do what you think is best. But try to remember what I said about, about being wanted and needed. Good night, Gramps. Good night, son.
wanted and needed. Wanted and needed. Wanted and needed. Wanted and needed. Sounds like a rifle shot. I say. Well, who'd be shooting at this time of night? Mm, I don't know. Lassie! I heard a shot. Lassie not out there? No. It's us. Hello? Oh, yeah. What? Oh, no. Well, what was she doing up there? Uh, are you sure it was her? Who is it? Right. Well, thanks, Ed. We'll have a look around. Now, don't get excited. Ed's not sure. What are you talking about? Lassie, she was in Ed's barn, nosing around that load of alfalfa. Ed thought a red fox was after his bullets and he took a shot at her. He ain't sure he hit her, but she got away. It's all my fault. Don't be stamp album. So. Better call Ed. He'll be worried. Jenny. George Miller. Fine. Fine, thanks, Jenny. So get me Ed Higgins, will you? You see, the reason she couldn't find it right away was because she hid it in a lot of alfalfa, and Ed Higgins took the alfalfa away. She sure is smart. Smarter than us. We thought we had a stamp worth $100, so it turns out to be only worth 25 cents, because it's the wrong color. <laughs> Hey, cut it out! Well, leave her alone, Porky. She's just trying to help. There's one thing you got to understand about people and dogs. They got to belong. They got to feel wanted and needed. Mm -hmm. 